Hello and welcome. This is lecture one. I'm Mr. Olson, and this lecture is going to be a quick one just about how to use Edpuzzle, the program that you are currently watching this video on right now. Now, just by finding this video and clicking on it, an account has already been made for you that's going to track your progress with these Edpuzzle videos. I'm going to be able to grade the questions you answer. Those grades will automatically go into Canvas, and then they'll be ported over to IC, Infinite Campus, which is going to be our gradebook of record uh, for this year. Now, I do want to go over with you how I want you to take notes in this class. The homework is largely watching these lecture videos, so how we take notes is important for how we're going to retain information and how you're going to prove to me that you actually did your homework. So the first thing I'll ask is that you pick one notebook to take all of your notes in. It could be a composition notebook. Um, you could do loose leaf paper in a binder as long as it's bound together somehow. Now this is only the first video, so if you don't have a notebook yet, that's okay, but hopefully by the next one, you've got a notebook to take your notes in. Now, uh, in that notebook, uh, you always want to start by just putting the date at the top of your notes. This is, I think, good for all your classes, but it's going to be something I'm going to look for when I'm grading your notes um, and checking them over in class to kind of know what notes go with each lecture. Um, now, it doesn't have to be an exact date, just the date, whatever the date that you're taking the notes on is fine. Uh, generally, that's enough to, you know, place which lecture is supposed to go with which. I do number the lectures, too, so go ahead and put that at the top as well. Um, let me add that in. Um, so always put the date in the top of your notes. We'll say, and the lecture number. All right, now there might be some slides with a lot of text in them. You don't have to copy all of that down. Um, in general, I'm gonna to try to keep those types of slides to a minimum, but a good rule is just to always write down all the definitions and then copy the setup for all of the practice problems and then show all work. So uh, sort of a good general rule of thumb is I will tell you when to write down you know, specific definitions. And then if I write something, you must rewrite it in your notes. So I do have a, a tablet here where I can write. Um, I just ordered a new one. I'm still using my old one. That doesn't work very well, but uh, uh, hopefully soon I'll be able to write lots and lots of great notes on these. And in general, if I write something, you rewrite it into your notes. Uh, and then bring your notes to class so I can check your notes to make sure you actually did the homework and I'll potentially take away points if you didn't take notes. Uh, I know it's uh, maybe tempting to just let these videos play while you're doing something else. Uh, don't do that, resist the urge. Do sit here, write down the notes, I will be checking for them. Okay. So how do you earn credit for watching the video? So watching the videos are your homework. Now, uh, typically I disable the feature that allows you to be able to skip forward, but if I forget to do that, don't skip forward or it can cause some issues with submitting it. Um, you can pause and you can go backwards in the video, um, but don't skip forward or else it, uh, it'll look like you haven't completed the whole thing and it won't submit and it won't be able to give you a grade for it. Also, at the very end of the video, let the video play all the way out. Even if there's two seconds left, don't pause the video at that point. Even if I'm done talking, let it finish all the way out so that it will submit the video. There is no submit button. Just if you finish the whole video, it will submit. Now, Edpuzzle allows me to embed questions um, into the video. Uh, that is part of the grade. Uh, and there's two different types of questions I can use. There's short answer questions, and then there's multiple choice. 
know that I will look at both, but they're graded slightly different. The short answer is graded on effort, not right slash wrong. So, uh, you know, I will tell you about how much I want you to write for each one. Um, in general, at least one complete sentence, if I don't say that I want two or three complete sentences, uh, and I'll read those to gauge your understanding. Uh, and if it, even if it's wrong, you'll still get credit, but then, you know, we can have a conversation in class. Now there are also multiple choice questions. These ones, it, the correctness does matter. So if you see a multiple choice question where you can actually click the different buttons, you need to try very hard on that one. Maybe even go back in the video to make sure you're going to get it right because that one is graded that if you get it wrong, you don't get the points. Um, now, when you first submit it, it might look like you got like a 0% or maybe a 25% or some very low percentage. Uh, this is just a feature of Edpuzzle. Don't panic. Um, your score is going to go up when I grade those short answers, but the issue is before I grade the short answers, it treats it like it's zero points for that short answer until I go give you points. So you'll see a zero originally, but it's gonna go up. Typically I grade at puzzle videos uh, once a day, um, sometimes once every other day. Okay, it's time to practice a short answer question. I am gonna ask a question about our content. Uh, I want you to take it seriously and give me a good answer. But remember this one is graded on effort not right or wrong, and it's not going to be a right or wrong question. So here's that question now. And now it's time to practice a multiple choice. This question does have a right answer. So if you need to go back in the video, or maybe if you wrote something down, that'll help you. It's going to be a very easy question, but don't just guess. It does have a correct answer. And that's all for this video. Remember to let the video play out the very last second so that you are you can be sure it submits and that you get credit for it. Uh, and I look forward to teaching lots more with lots more of these videos. All right, have a good rest of your day. That's all for me.